Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Rally Championship. It's time for the championship rounds in season two, event number two. The top three drivers from the qualifying round will be joining event number one champion, Big Air Dylan, in a three round event. This will be a round robin format, so that means every driver will race against every other driver. Up first, we have the rally hero himself, Dylan, in the 2008 Lancer Evolution going up against LEJ in the Hyundai i20 Coupe WRC. Dylan, the experienced champion on this track, he knows it well. LEJ, the newcomer, came in third in qualifying. It's the rookie versus the veteran. Oh, whoa! Dylan's over! Dylan rolls his car coming out of the first turn. LEJ now all alone on the track. Oh man, not a good start for Dylan. LEJ through the final turns. If she can finish this one, it's two points on the board. Here she goes. LEJ goes up and over, tumbling after that jump. A nice start for LEJ. That's got to be a confidence builder for her, going up against the champ in the first race and winning. It's got to feel good. I'm wondering if Dylan came into this competition a little too confident. LEJ was not the fastest in qualifying. Now Dylan is down two points. Here's another look at what happened. He hit the sidewall coming out of that turn, bounced into the right wall, and then rolled that Evo. I like the way LEJ just moved him out of the way and kept going. LEJ with a 17 second time. It's not that fast but she still managed to get some decent air coming off that final jump. She lands just shy of the 20 mark. That's actually pretty impressive for a 17 second time. Just a reminder of the rule change for the big air jump. Wherever the frontmost part of the car is when it touches ground is the distance it will be marked at. Here we go with race two. Hopefully Dylan doesn't choke again. This time LEJ starting off on the inside lane. Dylan pulling ahead going into the first turn. He makes it through clean that time. Whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Dylan rolled his car and recovered. He's still going. He's going fast too. This is the Dylan we've been waiting to see right here. Give me that big air. Oh yeah, a big jump from Dylan as he rolls his car again and recovers. That was too awesome. He rolled his car twice, ended up on his tires both times. And what happened to LEJ? Oh man, I got so caught up with big air Dylan. I forgot Ellie J was even in the race. Well, I'm not actually sure if she is in the race. Is that her sitting in the chair? Did she bring her dog? I think she just saw Big Air Dylan do a barrel roll on the track, recover, keep his speed, and she said, you know what, this thing's just not for me. You gotta respect someone who knows when to fold him and walk away. Dylan finishes with a 15.110 second time despite rolling his car on the track. A great way to bounce back both literally and figuratively after that DNF on the first race. Knowing how to recover and regroup after a loss is what being a champion is all about. An impressive jump here at the end too. He touches down after the 20 mark. Look at that. I love this camera angle. There's the comparison between Dylan and LEJ Dylan currently with the longest jump and the fastest time. They don't call him Big Air Dylan for nothing. Here's the score for both drivers for the first round. Keep in mind that the bonus points will be added at the end of the round. Up next, we have Bobby Johnson driving in the Lancia 037. He'll be taking on Marcus Firegon in the Subaru WRX STI. Bobby Johnson, the number one qualifier going into this championship. He is a fast driver, but he has a heavy car that might cause a challenge for him when it comes to the big air competition. Marcus Firegon, the number two qualifier, he showed us in the first half of qualifying, he knows how to get that car up in the air. Bobby Johnson with a block on Marcus Firegon on turn two, that slows him way down. Let's see that launcher fly. And Bobby Johnson goes big on the jump. He might have landed around where Big Air Dylan did. Marcus Firegon also finishing the race. It's nice to see both drivers making it to the finish line. A strong start for Johnson. He gets a time of 16.604 seconds. Marcus Fire gone 19.70. It was a close race all the way to turn two. That's when Bobby Johnson put the block on Marcus Fire gone right there. It's a very effective way of slowing your opponent down, but it also slows you down as well, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Look at that launcher fly through the air. I was concerned about the weight of that car, but it does not seem to be a problem. That's a lot of distance, but it is not past Big Air Dylan. Dylan is the king of the Big Air, and he's got the t-shirt to prove it. You can get that same t-shirt as well at the 3D Bot Maker merch store. Link is in the description. Here we go with the final race of the day. Dylan still has the biggest air and the fastest time. Marcus Farcon starting on the inside this time. Bobby Johnson on the outside. A close race. Marcus Farcon wipes out on turn one. I think Bobby pushed him. Johnson all alone. He's having some steering issues. That was a dirty move back there. We'll have to take a look at the replay. 
Johnson through the final corners. He's coming to the jump. Here he goes. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, nice! Bobby Johnson going all out on the jump. I believe he went even further that time. What I do like about Bobby Johnson is he does not hold back at all. He puts it all out there. He is not concerned about his safety or the safety of others. So he's careless. I prefer to say he's negligent. That's even worse. The glass is half full for you. That doesn't even make sense to what we're talking tomato, about. Tomato, tomato. Here's another look at the incident at turn one. It does appear that Bobby Johnson pushed Marcus Firegon off the track right there. That's a questionable move in my book, but I'm going to give him a pass because he got that big air. So the big air makes everything okay for you. Pretty much. Bobby Johnson coming in 0.62 seconds slower than Dylan. The big question is, did he get the big air bonus? Oh, wow. That might be a tie. It's super close. We're going to have to zoom in. And big air Dylan just barely gets it by the tip of his bumper. Wow. That was so close. Mad respect to Bobby Johnson for almost beating big air Dylan at his own game. Here's the score before the bonus points get added in. Bobby Johnson on top with four. Dylan's the man. And with the bonus points, Dylan goes to the head of the class. He had both the fastest time and the biggest air, so he now has 10 points. Bobby Johnson underneath him with seven. L.E.J. in third with four points. And Marcus Firegon on the bottom with two. A great start for Dylan. The champ has still got it. Right now, his biggest threat is clearly Bobby Johnson. He was the most consistent driver in round one. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Rally Championship. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to see more of the DRC. -R